Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you how to download YouTube videos uh, directly from your iPod Touch or iPhone. So what you're going to want to do is have your iPod jailbroken as you do on all my videos and then you want to go into Cydia and download the application MX Tube. I'll zoom in and as you can see I'm using ScreenFlow now because I wiped my Mac um, and it's much much quicker and everything works. Uh, to see my updates, follow me on Twitter. I've got uh, it's in the description. So, anyway, back onto the little app. Here it is, MX Tube. It's got a nice interface uh, icon. And then here we have a page where you can donate, uh, report bugs, and um, view information about the people who made it. So you have features, YouTube style search, no encoding, video quality, video descriptions, watch videos before downloading. So it's basically a better version of um, the YouTube app. So if I go into search, you can search. So I'm going to search on YouTube mobile, if it pop up. And I'm going to type in iUpperGeek1. Then here are a few of my videos. I think I just clicked one. Okay, I don't know how I did that. I've managed to play a song though from my music app. Okay. Anyway, let's go back to the search. Maybe I'll be able to see what I did in my video once I watch it again. So click back onto the search. And you can see, you can scroll down, there's loads of my videos. So I'm going to click this one. You click it, and then it comes up stream or download. And so I'm going to click download. And then you have an option to have high for Wi-Fi, high quality, low quality for edge, and FLV plus convert. And under stream, you have high for Wi-Fi and low for edge. If I scroll up, you can read the description and edit. So I'm not going to download it because it took a while last time because I made this video before. So I've already downloaded one. See, it's in under here. So I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi. Just to prove that you don't need Wi-Fi to watch this video show that it's not streaming it uh, click X second should load back up hopefully ok I'm going to reopen the connection because it seems a bit ok sorry Check out the VNC is not going that well at the moment. Open it back up. I don't mind showing my IP address, I always do. Click connect. Come on. Oh yeah, sorry. I just figured out why I couldn't connect. That is because I turned Wi-Fi off, so I can't do it without Wi-Fi on. So sorry, guys, I can't show you that it does. Pr I can't prove it. <laughs> okay, so redo. Sorry about this. Six seven. My bad. Accept. Sorry. Um. So what you want to do is click that video once it's downloaded. No, sorry, don't click it. Go under videos down the bottom here and then click it and see I've downloaded the low version of it. And as you can't see, it's playing because um, you can't see it because the frame rate's a bit choppy, so you wouldn't, it can't stream a video over VNC. So you've got to take my word for this. Actually, I'll put on the volume if I can. 
there you go, there's the video playing. And that is how to download YouTube video straight to your iPod Touch or iPhone. So you can, if you have a TV show which is on YouTube, not many are now, but a few probably are, you can download it and watch it on the go if you're in a car saying. So there you go guys, that's how to download on your iPod Touch. Comment, rate, subscribe. See ya. But Shift Command T does not work on ScreenFlow.